We're in the final days of the school year in Southwest Florida for Lee County. The final day of class is coming up next week on Wednesday, June the 7th. It also means we're in the final days of so many students who are able to get their lunch at school and for thousands of them also breakfast at school. It's also why we're seeing community cooperative with these mobile food pantries filling the gap for hunger, especially over those summer months. And that's the theme here is to try to note that school is out and hunger is not at the cooperative's headquarters in Fort Myers. We talked with leaders there about the expanded role the food bank also provides during these months on top of the dozens of routes and hundreds of clients that volunteers help to feed every single day. CEO Stephanie Inc. Edwards also talked with us today and she noted this is a critical time for families every year. But think about the challenges over the past year here in Southwest Florida. A hurricane displaced thousands, including some students in Lee schools, a district with 100,000 students, along with all those recent economic issues with the cost of housing and inflation. Southwest Florida is really a big place, and uh, as an organization, we want to ensure that we're meeting clients where they are. Whether they have a vehicle, maybe they do, maybe they don't, but to get to our main location in downtown Fort Myers can be really difficult, and so we decided as a philosophy to load up services and take not only food, but social services and additional resources out into the community. Here at Island Coast High School, today's mobile food pantry is one of so many in the coming weeks all across the region, all across Lee County, and today Today's event was set for last Thursday, but the rain delayed it until today. And the cooperative also has a wish list for many of the foods that they do want to come in. We see many of that here. Some of the canned meats. You got salmon, green beans, black beans, pasta sauce, rice, plenty of the cereals as well. And there's also on that wish list the schedule that's coming up here for June. And many of these places, they're not just schools here in Cape Coral, but there's also veterans health centers that we're also seeing. Also in Bakelia at a church, also in North Fort Myers, in Lehigh and Fort Myers, as that really is the mission for them to get out to so many places. If you go online to fox4now.com, I also have the full list of times and dates for the June Mobile Food Pantries. Reporting in Cape Coral, Chris Earle, Fox 4 News.